Live from News Channel 8, the best place to start your day. This is Good Morning Oklahoma. The search continues for a superintendent of Tulsa Public Schools. Ryan Walters wants to look nationally for a superintendent. Push to eliminate the state income tax. What's being done to make it happen? Good morning, Oklahoma. Thanks for joining us this morning. It is Friday, December 8th. And we're here with Colton this morning because Joy had to visit her family. She had to go to Christmas. Had to go. I am. You know, I haven't heard from her since. I think that's uh, probably a good thing. Is she, that a good thing? She needs to just disconnect. She likes to tell rest. us all that she has digestive issues, which always, of course, conjures up great images. But um, uh, no, she on what was it Wednesday? She had uh, uh, chocolate chip pancakes, whipped cream for breakfast. Then she went with uh, Sonny and I to get tacos at that Dos Bandidos place that does like the fried cheese stuff. And then she went, oh, and we had ice cream, I forgot, on Good Day Tulsa. Yeah, I'm getting and hungry. And then she went and got deep dish pizza uh, for dinner in Chicago on Wednesday. So there's a possibility Joy could be dead. <laughs> We, we, we don't know. We've not heard from her, but she might be okay. Hopefully she's okay. She's probably just asleep, considering she usually gets up uh, five hours before now. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully she's sleeping in. She's probably bit. up. Probably. You get used to the schedule. <laughs> it's yeah. hard to get off of it. All right, let's talk about weather forecast right now. That's a good looking shot there. From the VA Expressway, it's from our ABS Roofing live cam there. Traffic picking up now at 6 o'clock hour. Things looking good out there on the BA Expressway. Temperatures upper 50s, lower 60s. How about 61 out in Inola, 61 out in Claremore, 59 here in Tulsa. And uh, across the area, much of the same. Southerly winds, notice the outlier here. Ponca City starting to kind of creep in behind that cold front. Temperatures already making an effect, but my goodness, this is a slow moving front as we go throughout the day today. Uh, not gonna be impactful to us, at least through the afternoon, all right? Through the commute hour, well, 50s will continue. We'll keep overcast, guys. Coming up, gonna show you that cold front, what it does for us this weekend. That's in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, Colton. The time is now 6.01. Here's a look at this morning's top stories. The Tulsa Police Department releasing new footage of the man who shot at a TPD helicopter on Monday. This footage taken from the helicopter shows what happened. The suspect, Bryce Hubbard, shown wandering around before pulling out a gun you see right there and firing several rounds toward the helicopter. They take an evasive move there. Hubbard was arrested shortly after that. He has been charged with a list of offenses. Two people that ran a funeral home in Colorado Springs where hundreds of rotting bodies were found made their first appearance in court. John and Carrie Halford are facing hundreds of charges related to improperly storing dead bodies. They were arrested in Wagner last month when we first brought you the story. Several family members of the victims involved came to court to face the couple. The two are now being held on $2 million cash-only bonds and will be back in court in January. Senator Michael Bergstrom filed a bill that would outline a pathway to eliminate the Oklahoma state income tax. According to the senator, the proposed pathway to eliminate the income tax is designed to be methodical and cautious, safeguarding against unintended consequences while aiming for a more business-friendly environment. Governor Kevin Stitz pushed for this, going so far as to create a special session that ended up going nowhere. The legislative session begins February 5th bizarre way and yeah, dogs don't typically wind up <laughs> in trees that's a cat thing. that's what i was gonna say it's normally a cat like story yeah 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 really it, i can tell you story. though somebody is like we we lost our cat in chandler park for two days <laughs> Ugh, that's a traumatizing experience yeah. to lose a pet especially like out in the woods like right. that yeah. we found our little guy he was hiding in a boulder in the crevice in a boulder i'm sure he was happy to see you uh he well he was thrilled to see his mom i'm still a <laughs> jerk to him uh and he found his mojo out there because now he's got some sass mm. yeah. yeah yeah so forecast going into the weekend yeah looking great this weekend we'll be back near normal cold front's going to come through later today and that'll bring us back down to normal for the weekend next week or a few clouds, but pretty normal for December. All right, well, uh, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Uh, it's been an interesting seven years here at News Channel. Then my wife here. It's a great place to be. It has been. So please, if you see anybody applying from the Channel 8 looking for jobs, give them a hand. They can use the help. Sunday is a night of Disney holiday magic. First, Mickey saves Christmas. Man! Christmas, everybody. Then, hold on to your mittens for Olaf's Frozen Adventure. Are you with me? Ow! Sunday, starting at 7, 6 central on ABC.